Hi, this is another testimony by Steve. I'm supporting Addicted to Success from Cooper City, and I'm reviewing the workbook and journal for Seven Pillars. Um, I'm currently finding this absolutely remarkable. It is basically how to stop denying. Okay, this is in Pillar One, Lesson Three, the story of the prodigal son. And um, look at these steps. You will find yourself more and more at ease with telling your story. So tell your story the way the prodigal son told his story. You know, here I am in the depths. At least I can go back to the father and ask for forgiveness and be a servant. So um, we allow three to four minutes for each person to summarize the Holy, what the Holy Spirit revealed about his own story and then this is getting rid of your secrets in a group of men who trust each other this process reduces the shame for everyone involved and empowers everyone to commit themselves to purity at a deeper level this right here is the purpose of getting pure why we get together with men and do this together Narratives require the participation of multiple structures throughout the brain to, and bring things together in a conscious way, bringing together sensations, knowledge, feelings, and behaviors. When you're telling your story truthfully in a safe environment, this heals us. Uh, they give the example of Amnesty International tried to help torture victims, but nothing really helped until the victims could tell their painful story in a room full of individuals who were also torture victims. They could open up and receive healing. Now, it's not enough just to say how bad, bad things are. We have to let go of controls. And once the secrets have been pulled out of the closet, you can start, start telling your story about how things can be telling how they will be with God's help and power. So this is called a coherent story. Admit your sins to each other, pray for each other, and you will be healed. That's from James 5. They call it the, the coherent story. If a parent can share a narrative about their own childhood, then it's more likely that their children will have a good relationship with them. That's one thing they found in the study. How do you make sense of what happened to you? That, that's what I'm trying to do. And this was the most significant factor about how emotionally healthy you become. So if you can make sense of your story, you can change its impact on your life. It doesn't have to control you. Your destiny is not determined by your past. Your destiny is determined by how you see the sovereign hand of God at work in all of your life. This is working for me. So this is my testimonial. See? Testimonial of Steve. Right? The old church tradition of someone standing up and sharing their testimony changes the brain. See? by renewing the mind. Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. So, one part of this book is, where has there been a miracle in your life? Where has the hand of God intervened? And that's part of the healing part of the story. Once we figure out that the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And God wants to write a story of grace in your life. And so, this is my welcome to you. <laughs> when, when someone finally came to their senses, in other words, the guy started getting off of the highway of denial. And so that's what this book helps us to get off the highway of denial. They say it takes an average of two to five years to get everything out. And we have to look at who has been hurt by our behavior. So that's 
the next part I'm working through in this book. But you see how valuable the workbook is? And then the journal, which we then go to, and there's a group check-in, and we go through the faster scale. Um, again, asking those important questions. What's the double bind? What's the lowest level on the faster scale did we go? And are you on your commitment to change? Have you lied to anybody? And have you, what have you done to improve the relationship with your wife? So, I hope that you will become addicted to success and that you will find it valuable to join a pillar group.